I'm having an existential crisis right now. What am I doing wrong? What possibly could be on my TikTok that would prompt someone to just block me, no questions asked? Like, sincerely, I'm wondering, like, what is so bad on my TikTok that you would see and you would be just instantly done with me, despite the fact that we confirmed we were going on a second date today? Like, I can't handle this anymore. I can't handle this. Like, I need someone to talk me through this. I'm freaking out. Lady, listen, I don't know you, but this is about to be the best advice you've ever heard on the internet. Warning, Dave's content is not for the weak. Viewer discretion is advised. God himself can come down and give women a book about how to understand men 101, and they still wouldn't get it. So today we're going to be talking about a woman who got dumped after a one night stand and she doesn't know why she doesn't know where she went wrong and she asked the internet for help. But to be honest with you, if you're a guy and you're listening to her story, you'll clearly see why he smashed and blocked her right after. So let's break it down. I need someone who is in the same time zone as me or just like at least is awake right now to walk me through this because I am absolutely freaking out because of my most dating. Oh my God, I can't even speak. I'm freaking out of my date last night and I think he blocked me on everything. So last night I went on a date. I'll post the video after this. Um, I went on a date with this guy and it was a really good date. Like we, we really hit it off. We went to two different bars. We had a great time. It was like really romantic. We had good chemistry. We had a lot of values in common. Um, this guy was like, oh, like cool, calm and collected kind of energy. And like, he's very successful in his life. Like, again, we just like really hit it off. And I was very open with him about like my recent dating experiences that have been not so great. And we talked about just like a lot of different stuff. I brought him back to my apartment at the end of the night. And when we were here, like I was open and honest with him about the fact that I post about my dates on TikTok. Yep, that's where you went wrong. First of all, why would you post your dates on TikTok? A date supposed to be something sentimental. It's supposed to be me and you, not the whole world. So that right there tells me that you're attention seeking. You like the attention. And most guys, to be honest with you, not really into that. They like their peace. They like their personal space. And you being this extra posting guys that you've been on a date with, that just screams red flag. Right. I've heard a variety of opinions about whether or not that's okay. And like this experience is making me think that I should like stop dating altogether or like stop posting about my dates on TikTok or I don't know what because we were sitting together and we were just looking through my TikTok. Um, it was fine. Like I even told him like, are you okay if I post about our date? Like we talked about it all and he was totally fine. And I even asked him like, does it bother you that I posted about other dates and stuff? And he said, no, like he was so chill about all of it, right? No shit. Cause he hasn't fucked yet. See, here's the thing about men and honesty. We have no problem being honest with other men. Cause we know that you can handle it. Like, yeah, bro, get out my face. Your breath stink. We're super honest with other men because we know that they can take criticism. He's at your house. He hasn't fucked yet. I'm pretty sure he got a hard dick. And you're showing him all this red flag. He's not immediately going to be like, yeah, I don't fuck with that. Or, yeah, I don't agree with that. Because that's going to throw off the mood. You're probably going to look at him weird. You're probably going to talk about him on your TikTok. And mind you, this is your first time meeting him. This is the first date. So he doesn't owe you honesty. He doesn't. At this point, I feel like I can't trust anything any guy ever says. Like, literally, I can't. So, sorry, I'm sounding so erratic right now. I'm not making any sense, probably, but we were, like, looking through my TikTok, and he was trying right. to open some of the dating ones, and I was like, don't open those in front of me. That's, like, awkward. And I was like, you can watch those on your own time. <sighs> And so even like some of the videos that he was watching, like he had good responses to and whatever. And we had a great evening together. I, I don't want to say too much because like I'm public on TikTok, but I think adults around can fill in the blanks of the kind of evening that we had. And it was great. Um, and then we had a really nice goodbye. And he was telling me about how we were going to go on a date today um, to go out to dinner at this like rooftop bar in Ashantashire. And, um, and we like definitely confirmed it. Like when we said goodbye, he was like, are you definitely still down for dinner tomorrow? And I said, absolutely, are you? And he's like, yeah, definitely. And even like I said, text me when you get home. And he texted me when he got home and we were texting a little bit about some like friend drama that's happening in his life. And so he was like texting me about that. And then I fell asleep at like three in the morning. And then this morning I woke up and then around like 10 or 11 a.m. I texted him good morning. 
and I noticed that my text didn't send. And I noticed that it just has on WhatsApp the one check, not the two that it was delivered. But at first I thought maybe his phone's dead or something. But then I noticed that his photo's not there. And the only experience I have where the photo's gone on WhatsApp means they blocked you. And so I was like, that's weird. And so then I went on Bumble to see if our match and our conversation was still there and it's gone. And so he definitely unmatched me. And then I tried to text him like regular text and it delivered, but even if someone blocks you, it still delivers a text. And I tried calling him and um, it just said line is busy. And so like, I'm freaking out right now, like freaking out. Mm -hmm. What am I doing wrong? Like, should I stop this? Like really like, I'm having an existential crisis right now. What am I doing wrong? What possibly could be on my TikTok that would prompt someone to just block me, no questions asked? Like, sincerely, I'm wondering, like, what is so bad on my TikTok that you would see and you would be just instantly done with me, despite the fact that we confirmed we were going on a second date today? Like, I can't handle this anymore. I can't handle this. Like, I need someone to talk me through this. I'm freaking out. Lady, listen, I don't know you, but this is about to be the best advice you've ever heard on the internet. You have documents about you going on dates with other men on your TikTok. That's your content. That's you. Do your thing. But you have to understand how us men view it is, oh, okay, she's fucking all these dudes that she goes on dates with. She is giving herself to all these men on her TikTok, and she's documenting it. You had sex with me, you definitely had sex with them also. You might as well have OnlyFans. That is what's going on the psyche of men. Men do not want a woman that's fucking out there like that. Men do not want a woman that's a public figure. Why in the world would you ever think a guy would be okay with you going on a whole bunch of different dates with different men that you probably fucking? I don't know what this mainstream society have told you guys, but men are not attractive to high body counts. What would make you think I'm attracted to other men having access to you like that? That shit is not attractive at all. It's a turn off. Of course, I'm gonna date with you. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do your little spiel. Oh yeah, you document your dates with other men on your TikTok? Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's cool. I haven't fucked yet. But understand, after I fuck, you're never gonna see me again. Now I know a lot of women are gonna say, oh well, why can't you guys just be honest? Why can't you just be honest to us? If you're more honest to us, then we'll avoid getting our feelings hurt. Well, if I be honest with you and say, yeah, I just want to fuck and never talk to you again, that's going to rub you the wrong way. Me and my friend was having this conversation once and the topic was, would you ever tell a woman that her vagina stinks? And both of us collectively said, no, you never tell a woman that, but you can block her. There's just certain honesty that women are not equipped to dealing with. You can say, yeah, I want my man to be honest with me as much as he can. But in reality, no, you don't. Because our honesty is cruel. If you really knew what was going on in my head, you'll think I'm a monster. So I'll just rather lie. So it's for your own good. Before I go, I'm going to leave you guys with this story. So I went on a date with this girl in college. Now, here's something you guys should know. I don't go on dates unless I know I'm fucking. I hate dates. We just gonna sit there and talk about nothing. I'm gonna pretend I care. You are gonna be rambling about something stupid. It's, I, I hate dates. Call me an asshole if you want to. That's just what it is. Everything was already set up with this girl. We talked for a while. We both knew what the intention was. Everything was set. So we went to Olive Garden, cause you know, I'm fancy like that. And throughout the date, she was just saying all the wrong things. She was like, yeah, I had an abusive boyfriend. He used to beat me up. And I would ask, is he still around? Cause I ain't trying to get shot at Olive Gardens. And she'll be like, yeah, but I have my pepper spray with me. So we'll be fine. Here we go. Red flag again. And then she would go on and tell me she has only fans, but she only fucks one dude on there. Am I okay with that? I said, yeah, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm mature enough. That don't bother me. Do you, baby? And she will go on and be like, yeah, I had an abortion when I was 18 because the guy I was dating didn't have any money. And I'm like, yeah, that don't bother me. You know, sometimes we go through things and, you know, God likes to test us and blah, blah, blah. The horse shit. So after the night ends, we go to my spot. I smashed and then she went home the next morning and then I blocked her. Listen. Call me an asshole if you want to. So about a week later, I got a call from a random phone number. And mind you, I don't usually like picking random numbers, but for some reason, this time I just picked it up. So I picked it up. I'm like, hello, who's this? Why are you calling my phone? But of course, it was that same girl. She was like, hey, um, I don't want to bother you. I know you blocked me. I thought we had a good night. I was having fun. But I just like to be at peace with the situation. So I just want to know, why'd you block me? And I looked at the phone. I'm like, seriously? And I hanged up. You're not about to waste my time. But if you don't get it, you'll never get it. But yeah, 
that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe and get me there. Thank you.